Okay. So, all right. A bunch of people sent me this um, and basically asked for my take on. A lot of people who are very worried and very distressed sent me this and asked for my take on it. And, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it is exactly what it looks like. This is a job listing on the Riot Games website asking for a research scientist intern for generative AI. And the responsibilities involved in this job is to work closely with game teams and content creators to accelerate the pace that we produce content for our games, partner with artists, designers, and engineers to prototype new applications of research, and explore the application of large language models and state-of-the-art content generation models to games in development and production. So, come be our intern at Riot Games. Your job is to learn how to use LLMs to do the work that otherwise human beings would have done. This is gross, the way that all AI got garbage is gross, um, because it is a endeavor that's entirely predicated on the idea of throwing human beings to the curb and using a soulless machine base, whose like data set is inevitably based on the plagiarism of the real work done by real people to replace them uh, and churn out soulless middle-of-the-road garbage in lieu of actually churning out art, right? So it's depressing on that level, and it's especially depressing in the context of Riot having laid off a whole bunch of it art, its artists and writers earlier this year by while citing some stuff about, well, we're making our teams more healthy and more, like, suitable for the current of law, right? Like, which at best is an admission that Riot's higher-ups are fucking incompetent dipshits who can't hire efficiently to build healthy teams at their goddamn billion-dollar company, and how the hell are they not getting fired for that, quite frankly? And, you know... Under all other circumstances, it's just a fucking bad, stupid excuse to cut on payroll so you can generate more money for your shareholders, right? Which is all a corporation really cares about and is designed to care about. So, it sucks. I mean, it's not, but I will say I'm not as much of a, I'm not as surprised as some people seem to be. And I'm not quite as much of a doomer about it necessarily, because this is a research scientist intern, right? So... If there's an intern that's going to be working at Riot for the summer in 2025, that means that there's a team already there that's working on it, right? Like, that means Riot is already doing research into generative AI applications in their video games, which is kind of hardly a surprise because generative AI is the snake oil of the year, right? Like, it's the snake oil that has supplanted NFTs, which supplanted crypto, well, kind of. Um, but it's like, it's the, la it's the latest big thing that's going to solve the problem that tech has had for the past decade and a half, which is that tech has ceased to produce revolutions, right? Like, what was the last big tech thing that, like, really genuinely changed your daily life forever? And it's like, probably the smartphone, right? like some social media app i guess maybe like the tech hasn't really had the big sort of explosive hyper growth new shiny fancy product for a long time and that's a problem for tech because tech runs on the economic model of capitalism and the economic model of capitalism demands infinite growth forever this is a foundational premise of capitalism is that you make money you invest that money back into your company and use that to make more money and then you just do that for all eternity forever um and this is it's a value that has been enshrined into capitalism especially under our like models of, of funding and investment and especially in the u.s um the economic ec economic models of investment and like um, investor dividends right like uh, the the idea that someone should be able to invest into the company and then get their investment back and receive more money back in increasing quantities forever because the company will grow forever, right? Like, all of that shit is enshrined into a bunch of economic systems in, in the U.S., across the world, indeed. Um, and it's part of the one of the fundamental contradictions that exist within capitalism is that we have a finite world with finite growth and a finite number of people and therefore a finite number of customers for any given business, and yet the economic system is predicated on growth forever. AI is supposed to be the latest solution to that contradiction, the latest thing that will stave off the collapse by basically allowing you to eliminate your fucking payroll. That's the idea of it. That's what AI is for, is you can lay off as many people as fucking possible without losing any productivity, and therefore the line can keep going up for another 10, 20, 30 years until you reach another limit and you have to invent like another frontier, another new explosive 
like massive boost in productivity coming from out of nowhere while also decreasing your operating costs so that you can keep growing forever, right? That's what AI is being leveraged as, as a political tool, as an economic tool in the way that especially that it's being used within the entertainment industry. That's what the voice actors guild currently or the uh, SAC after the voice actors within SAC after are currently on strike about is that they are already feeling the squeeze that these companies are like, well, we don't need you. We can just replace your performances with AI so we can cut on a lot of costs there. Fuck you. And it's also being used, of course, as a means to generate a strong downwards pressure on wages in the entertainment industry, especially in the games industry. Uh, AI is being used as a threat, as a cudgel, to generate an intense downwards pressure on the wage rates of various workers in the industry, which again also has a union busting function, right? Like AI, generative AI is being positioned as a thing of like, well, if you don't want to work for the slave wages that we're offering, we'll just use AI instead, and that costs nothing. You're competing with free now, so you better take whatever garbage pay and no benefits and work for 130 hours a week if we tell you to, because we can replace you like that with a machine, right? That's part of the threat. That's part of how it's being operationalized. So, yeah, it's not a surprise to me that Riot has a research team that's working on that. That's... I kind of assumed that they had a re research team that's working on that. Every tech company does. Every creative company does. Netflix has it. Disney has it. Like, they all fucking have these teams that are researching the extent to which they can get away with using generative garbage in their video games, right? So I'm not surprised by it. And increasingly, I'm not that much of a doomer about AI either, because everything I've ever heard from anyone who works in the games industry or any creative industry about trying to work with fucking AI prompters as creative collaborators is that they're useless. These large language models are functionally useless for the workflows that actually exist within this kind of production. For example, if you're doing concept art for something, you have to be able to invent things that aren't necessarily present in the data set that you already have. That's sort of the whole point is to explore new ideas that aren't like already stuff that exists. Like assuming these companies, even assuming they use the whole of the internet, right? You can't ask a large language model to invent anything new. They can't do that. That's not something that's within their capability. All they can do is take the data that they already have and remix it in various configurations towards a statistically likely desired outcome by the person writing the prompt. That's that's all it is. Like, all of this generative AI bullshit and large language models, it is just kind of a glorified version of autocomplete. It's an algorithm trying to figure out what's most likely statistically to be the desired output in response to a given prompt. That's all it is. And all it can do to generate that desired output is use the data that it already has. The ways in which this is fundamentally different from how human creativity works are... I mean, I feel like a fucking... I feel like an insane person when I ever have to try and explain. I've made the argument before that AI is fundamentally non-creative. It can't be creative because all it can do is regurgitate data it already has in different proportions. And then I have to sit and see someone say, well, that's how human creativity works also. Human brains just remix existing in... And it's like, are you a neuroscientist? Are you? Are you sure? Like, have I accidentally stumbled upon the world's most brilliant neuroscientist who has figured out how creativity works within the human brain because i think there's a nobel prize in it for you if you can codify that research into an actual paper with some falsifiable claims that can be like peer reviewed and tested um there's like a couple of nobel prizes you can win for that work because that's not something that like neuroscientists have yet actually fucking discovered <sighs> went off on a tangent there a little bit point being these AI models aren't creative. They can't be creative. That's built into the limitation of their thing. All they can do is try and please the person who inputs a prompt into them. Please them by generating whatever is the most statistically likely outcome of the prompt that's being put in, which means they have to regress to the mean. They have to regress to the least creative option in response to any given prompt because that's the one that's most statistically likely to be desirable for the largest number of people, which is what the LLM is designed to do, right? So I'm not really worried about LLMs actually taking over because they're paper tigers. They don't actually have the capabilities that OpenAI and Sam Altman and all the fucking freaks that work on that bullshit claim that they do. This thing will never be God. This thing will never develop general intelligence. It won't. Like, it's a... It's autocomplete on steroids. That's all it is. That's all it can be. Generative, like, like general AI may emerge from 
some aspect of this research somewhere down the line, but ChatGPT is never going to gain consciousness. ChatGPT is never going to be able to produce an original thought. That is simply not present in the mathematical models that power this shit. And again, everything I've ever heard from the people who work in the industry who've actually had to work with people who do this AI shit, trying to be part of an actual creative process, is that they're useless. They create more problems than they solve because if a person... If you tell someone, like, write a generative AI prompt that can create a splash art for this champion, then it'll create that statistically likely out, uh, desirable outcome that looks sort of vaguely similar to literally everything else that's ever been made in the same genre. And then a creative director will say, okay, but can we change that background color to something else? Can we change the values of where the light is in this particular scene? And the generative, generative AI guy has to say, uh, no. I mean, I can change the prompt and then I can write the prompt again and can generate the whole thing again, but I can't go into this image and just change that bit of it. I can't just change that color in it because the generative prompter like doesn't have the skill set to do that. All they can do is ask the computer to take another run at it with extra instructions, right? And then just like hope that all of the desirable qualities from the first output remain, but that none of the undesirable qualities remain. They can't generate images that are like well separated into different layers with like every single individual asset in the image separated correctly and in a structured and organized way they can't like do things like subtly change the proportions of a character um in the image in a clean way they can't generate assets at the level of quality and the level of of customizability and they can't react to feedback in the ways that are necessary in order to participate in the actual production of video games in the actual production of movies comics whatever generative ai is never really going to be able to do that it's never really going to be able to approximate a human collaborator all it can do is receive a prompt and generate an output and everything else every single other part of the process which is 99.9% .9 of the process of actually doing creative work in a creative industry generative ai can't do that it can't engage in those things. It cannot engage in brainstorming, for example. It cannot engage in creative sparring. It can't do that. It's not built to do that. It was never meant to do that, but it's being sold as a thing that can do that. And it is like, companies will try to pivot to their AI bullshit, and they're not going to get anything out of it because what they're going to produce is crap. They're just going to produce crap, garbage, and shit. And people can tell. Like, I'm not, I don't, fucking want to defer to the wisdom of the commons or whatever, but, like, they're gonna produce middle-of-the-road useless garbage. And human beings, now made redundant and jobless by these fucking guys, are gonna go away, and they're gonna produce real shit that's made by real people, and that's gonna be the shit that people want. That's gonna be the shit that people crave. Like, one of the lessons you should have learned from the last 15 years of the fucking MCU or whatever is that at some point people get fed up when you just feed them the same shit over and over again at some point they need innovation at some point they need something new right and AI can't do that AI can only ever create new versions of the old stuff like new remixes of the thing that already exists that you already know that's already popular and here's the fucking kicker on, on, on the oil drum there is even if you try to incorporate new data into the AI data set, right? In order to be able to generate some variation of some new thing that a human being has invented, you will necessarily have the absolute least amount of data of the new thing and the most amount of data of the old thing. And so in order for your model to work, it will and always must be conservative. It always must be reactionary. It almost must be backwards looking. It can never do anything better than produce an approximation of the thing that was popular yesterday and never the thing that's going to be popular tomorrow. So, yeah, this sucks. Like, it fucking sucks. It sucks that the fucking tech industry, that the games industry is investing in this bullshit. It sucks that they're being taken in by the snake oil. It sucks that they are seeing the opportunity to use this bullshit as a means to abuse their workers even further, as a means to reduce their wages, as a means to pressure them out of unionization, as a means to, like, try to reinforce and enforce the control of industry over creativity rather than people. Sucks. Garbage. Fuck them. Like, don't take this job. Like, like, or do. I don't fucking care. Get the bag, I guess. But, like, yeah, it sucks. And everyone sh is right to dunk on Riot for doing this, especially in the aftermath of fucking firing their writers. This is craven and ugly, but 
Is it actually going to destroy creativity? No. If Riot goes all in on this shit, it might be the death of the company. Uh, I wouldn't cry about that. But is it going to be the death of creativity in the games industry? No. Is it going to be the death of creativity in the visual arts? No. Is it ever going to write a good novel? No. ChatGPT is never going to write a good novel. Um, it's never going to replace a search engine. It's never actually going to do any of the shit that the fucking boosters and scam artists and grifters say that it can do. Because it's not built to do that. What it's going to be good at is being a toy for people idly fucking around. Um, what it's going to be good at, like, if... If you just need a bunch of slop real quick, that doesn't need to be... Like, I think chat, chat GPT is going to eliminate a lot of email jobs, right? Like, with your, the job is you just have to sit and write perfunctory, wor worthless, like, pointless emails that no one actually cares about back and forth and, like, deliver reports on shit that no one cares about to people who aren't going to read it. Chat GPT is going to kill that industry. Um, but as for, like, the real... Robots are coming, taking over all of our jobs. We're all going to get replaced by generative AI? No. No, that's not... Ultimately, that's not going to happen. It's going to do a lot of damage while everyone figures out that it's not actually going to work or do any of the things that the industry very much wants it to do. It's going to do a lot of damage. A lot of people are going to lose their jobs. People have already lost their jobs. It fucking sucks. And I think people should redact it uh, to the companies that redacted and then redacted the, uh, the redact redacted things. But is this Doom? No. This is just a confirmation of what I already assumed was true. Riot has a generative AI research team internally, because of course they do. Of course they do. Like, they are not going to let an opportunity to screw over their workers or boost their profits. However remote, however bullshit it's based on snake oil, they're not going to let that pass them by, because they are a capitalist company like all the others, and subject to the same contradictions and the same necessity of solving those contradictions. The line has to keep going up generative AI is being promised as a thing that's going to make the line keep going up. So, of course, they're going to invest into that because they are run by, you know, credulous fucking Silicon Valley CEO dipshits. That's the reality. And it fucking sucks. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck the executives at Riot Games. They're assholes. I've always said this. And that's my take on that. Generative AI is garbage. Reductive, middle-of-the-road, backwards-looking, conservative slop garbage and every single human being on earth deserves better than to be stuck with it